Hi, today's poem we're analysing is Remember by Christina Rossetti. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below this video. I have the poem, so let's start. Remember me when I am gone away, gone far away into the silent land, when you can no more hold me by the hand, nor I turn to go, yet turning stay. Remember me when no more day by day you tell me of our future that you planned. Only remember me, you understand. It will be late to counsel then or pray. Yet if you should forget me for a while and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you should remember and be sad. This is a deeply personal poem in which the speaker, highly likely Rossetti, considers her death and asks her lover to remember her when she is gone, but also not to feel guilt if, at times, he should forget her. It is a personal poem written in the first person voice and addresses her lover directly by using the second person pronoun you. Being written in the present tense gives an immediacy to the poem and makes an instant connection with the reader. And using the sonnet structure makes the poem formal. Remember is composed in the form known as the Petrarchan sonnet. It is rhymed a B B A A B B A C D D E C E and traditionally this is associated with love poetry many of course being written in the sonnet style. The fact that the poet has chosen a very traditional poetic structure emphasises the formality but the seriousness of the subject matter she is discussing. The use of enjambment, run on lines, makes the poem conversational. You can imagine the speaker speaking directly to her lover. Iambic pentameter reinforces this as it is the rhythm that most closely mimics natural speech. The metaphor silent land being used to represent death makes the poem poignant and introduces the theme of death early on. The simplicity of the language Rossetti uses makes her message clear and to the point. It is candid and honest. It also contains the astonishing line nor I half turn to go yet turning stay. This creates a moment of indecision, which reflects a theme in the poem, that of wishing to be remembered after death and yet not wishing to burden people with grief. However, this poem is rich in irony. For example, although the poet Rossetti is saying remember me, but that's fine if you do forget me. How many times does she repeat the word remember? Well, if you haven't had time to look, she repeats it four times in the poem. Five if you include the poem's title. Although explicitly she's saying it's fine if you do forget me, and you're not always remembering me, when we actually look at the reality and what is implicit in the poem, we are taking away a far different message. 
This repetition of remember would contradict her statement that she would understand if he forgets her. It suggests the speaker is torn between being selfish and unselfish. And this poem encapsulates that life and love are messy. There is a degree of insincerity in the speaker because she clearly does not want her lover to forget her. Perhaps there is a degree of playfulness too. She expects her lover to recognise this and smile at the message she sends to him. Given the year and the date that this poem was likely written, it is written most likely to her fiancé at the time, James Collinson, who was an artist and a friend of her brother's. Christina Rossetti was a fine poet and was part of a large, highly talented family of artists. Christina Rossetti was born in London in 1830 into a remarkable family of artists, scholars and writers. Her brothers William and Dante Gabriel Rossetti were founding members of an art movement called the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Christina had her own first book of poetry privately printed by her grandfather when she was 12 years old. She was a precocious talent. Age 19, she contributed poems to the Pre-Raphaelite journal The Germ under the pseudonym Ellen Allen. A woman of strong religious conviction, she wrote the words to the famous hymn and carol in the bleak midwinter. Sadly for Christina Rossetti, she suffered from acute mental illness for the majority of her life. Also, unfortunately, her relationship with James Collinson ended. And although Rossetti fell in love with several suitors, she rejected them all because they failed to share her precise religious convictions. However, she is one of the most important women poets and writers of the 19th century. And unlike some poets, her work was recognised during her lifetime and after her death. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to check out our other videos. Until next time, from Carol and me, write well.